We are going back to the Paris Congress in 2015, where we were invited as proud uh, leaders of companies with the, in the oil and gas business of Norway. Uh, at the moment, I had 70 employees making technology for pumping up black oil so we could send it up in the ocean. We were given a great challenge. <clears throat> How can you use your knowledge and the company to make solutions for, for the global warming to stop? When I walked home this night, I have to admit I wondered, is that true? Are we really making such a bad thing to the world? And after a very short discussion with myself and others, we decided to change. We had a visit from the Minister of Environment of Norway, who promised to give us the necessary pilot case. We started searching for it, and we found it quite local. It's a lady. Isn't she beautiful? She is really making green gas every day in her stomach by eating grass <coughs> and farting. How can we make that fart and collect it and sell it as green gas as we sell the gas from the North Sea? To do that, we have to create an artificial cow stomach. And this is the solution. The cow is making manure. And we send that through that stomach where bacteria and guts are making, are making the green gas. And the rest of it we can send back to the earth. It's developed together with the professors at the university and the engineers at the company and the workshop personnel. We can tra transport it on truck, so it's a decentralized technology structure. It means you do not have to bring all that manure to, to central big plants. You can do it on each farm, so each farmer can be a, a producer of green energy. And here it's installed at one of the farmer schools of Norway. They have now been a, a, a supplier of green gas. Why did we do that? And why are people working day and night on such a thing? To see forward, it's sometimes necessary to look into the mirror. And we see far behind in the, in the mirror, back to the 1600s when Telemark was a white spot on the map. The first map where the Oslo fjord is mentioned. The question is, for hundreds of years to come, which color do we want to have on that map? Shall farmers be able to live and be proud of, of what they are doing? Shall the spot of Telemark be black or shall it be white? Nothing or shall it be green? Thank you so much.